Hi guys, today I'm reviewing the Zoku Quick Pop Maker. I'm so excited about this little popsicle maker because it's the middle of summer and I'm going to make fun popsicles. It comes with the base, six reusable plastic pop sticks, six reusable plastic drip cards, and a remover tool. The molds are non-stick cast aluminum. The base has to be frozen for 24 hours before you make popsicles. It's best to leave it in the freezer so you're ready to make popsicles anytime. It is small and doesn't take up much space in the freezer. Each popsicle is about two ounces. It makes three popsicles in about eight minutes. You can also make three batches before having to refreeze the base. You can make a variety of popsicles with the Zoku. If you're going to make popsicles with multiple layers and all sorts of designs, it will take longer to make the pops because you have to wait until each layer is frozen before pouring on the next. A Zoku toolkit is sold separately and it allows you to make perfect layers and core pops. Core pops have a different flavor in the center of the pop. You could go absolutely nuts with your popsicles and make every imaginable design. Once the base is frozen for 24 hours, take it out of the freezer. I'll make three different types of popsicles. Pineapple kiwi, Greek yogurt with blueberries, and a pure strawberry popsicle. I'll put a few pieces of thinly sliced kiwi on the sides of the mold. I'm gonna add some fresh blueberries to the sides of the mold. Insert the sticks before putting in any mixture. Pour your chilled mixture up to the fill line. Pour in the pineapple juice. I'm pouring Greek yogurt mixed with a little milk up to the fill line. Now I'm pouring fresh strawberries blended with a little bit of sugar. After eight minutes, the popsicles are done. Place a super tool over the stick and rotate clockwise. Turn it until the pop loosens from the mold and starts to come up. Unscrew the tool counterclockwise, then lift the popsicle out of the mold. You could attach the drip card if you'd like. The strawberry popsicle tastes just like fresh strawberries. And I like that it's not icy and hard. It's just the perfect consistency for a popsicle. As you can see, my blueberries fell to the bottom. So it's best to use very thinly sliced fruit so it could stick to the walls of the mold. The yogurt popsicle is really creamy and delicious. The kiwi really stayed against the side of the mold and the popsicle is beautiful. The juice pops will be a little bit harder than your other blended fresh pops. It is really tasty though. Now I'll make a second batch and they'll all be strawberry popsicles. So the second batch took 10 minutes. I didn't have any more sticks left for the third batch because the Zoku comes with six sticks. I think it should really come with nine sticks so you can make three batches at one time. You can also make pops ahead of time and put them in freezer bags. When I made this batch of popsicles, I did overfill the molds so it was much harder to get out. So be careful to fill the mixture just up to the fill line so they can be removed easily. If you want to make angle pops and don't want to purchase the Zoku toolkit, you could just use a container and put it under the Zoku. Here I'm making popsicles with two different flavors. I've filled the molds halfway with my strawberry mixture. I'll wait about three, four minutes before this freezes. Next I'll pour in some yogurt and pineapple juice for the second layer. One thing I don't like about the base is the narrowness of the molds. When you pour your mixture, you have to be very careful not to make a mess. It's best to use a container or a cup with a spout so it's easy to pour the mixture in. Of course, you can make an endless variety of popsicles. I made these chocolate banana popsicles and they were really yummy. This is a really refreshing cantaloupe, lime, and mint popsicle. I had a lot of fun reviewing this product because I got to eat so many different popsicles. 
I found the Zoku a very convenient way to make popsicles because you could just pull out the base and your popsicles will be ready in about eight minutes. And making your own popsicles is of course healthier than buying store-bought popsicles because you get to control the amount of sugar and the ingredients that go into them. Things you should not try to make into a pop. Water and sugar-free beverages. Sugar helps release the popsicles from the mold, and if you use a mixture with no sugar, it may be impossible to remove it. Azoku recommends not washing out the base often because you really don't need to. Nothing is left in the molds because the popsicle comes out cleanly. If you do want to clean the base, make sure it's completely defrosted. Otherwise, whatever you're cleaning with will freeze. Wash it out with mild soap and water. Don't put it in the dishwasher. Dry the Zoku completely before putting it back in the freezer. The sticks and drip guards should be hand washed. I love that there's practically no cleanup with this popsicle maker. The link to the Zoku is in the description below. Thanks for watching.